welcome to the channel this is Jamie with Jamie loving all seasons and today we have I feel like it's a pretty big haul I think it's probably gonna be one of my last I might pick up a thing here or there to you know plug into places as I, I'm decorating I told you I was going through bins getting rid of stuff that I don't use and hopefully find good homes for them that will use it. So, this haul today, there is Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Temu, Timu, however you wanna call it. Um, trying to think. And like uh, TJ Maxx, I think it is. Yes, and it is a fall and Halloween. So following Paul. Your cup of coffee, pop, how, whatever, some beverage, a cocktail, sit back, relax, and have some fun with me. Two friends, you know, having some, some, some time and you know, just hanging out. All right, if that sounds good, stay tuned. guys I gotta tell you I didn't want to stop drinking this coffee it was so good a little tidbit and then I'll get into the haul I started frothing I think that's what it's called comment below if I'm saying it wrong frothing my milk or my creamer I have do a lot of times a heavy whipping cream this just makes it delightful I started doing it this past week and I was house sitting and my sister had one right next to her coffee maker. I have one. Never used it. Oh, I'm using it now. If you guys like this cup, this was Joanne's. Right here. Crazy pumpkin lady. That's me. All right. Mm. So good. Don't you love a good cup of coffee? All right. First thing, I do want to share this sweatshirt. It has pockets. I know I'm probably not showing you guys the best view of it, but I love how it, you can buff, you know, buckle. That's not a buckle. That's a button, Jamie. You can <laughs> button it up. And it is roomy. So just for you, my plus size women out there, they got you covered. So this was $17.98. I needed to bring some other colors into my fall decor and I thought this was good because I could wear some nice boots, whatever with this. Walmart has some really cute finds. There's a sweatshirt I want to go back and get because it's so soft. The next uh, clothing item I'm going to show you is also from Walmart. It is this, it's a nightgown. So always wear them but I gotta tell you and some of you ladies will understand going through some pre-menopausal stuff here your girl gets hot so this one they also had cute little pajama sets um if you guys saw me post it on one of my shorts I showed all the different pajamas they had but it has that vintage vibe on it and they look like little trick-or-treat bags and it just has so much cute and what I love about these they have pockets I know a lot of people don't always wear nightgowns but I'm telling you this is a nice little cool throw it on in the evening if you're a person that runs hot I want to say I tore the tag off of this I think these were $9.90 little bag of bells. These are from Timu. And maybe I'll do all the Timu stuff first. I don't 
remember how much these were, you guys. And you know, they always change the price. But it's a little jack-o'-lantern. And his mouth is a um, bat. How stinking cute are those? So I think I opted to get, there's probably 20 in here, I think. The 20 pack, I'll be honest, I wish I would have got two bags of these. I think these will be great fillers in like a glass jar. It could be around a, um, put a candle in the middle, put these all around it. Um, you could string them up. There is a hole for them. So you could string them up, put them on a garland. There's a lot of things you could do with these, but I thought ornaments. You guys, these are not ornaments. <laughs> so, um, but they're like little vintage um, paper, but they're calling them ornaments. They give you this little needle so you can put it through here. There's also, I was going to say straw, string. Oh, there's holes like in the corner and you can, the string I think fell out. I don't know. It's somewhere. But you can use these for scrapbooking. You can make yourself a garland. And I think I got two of each one. But are these not stinking? Oh, here it is. There's the thing. So you get this with it. And I want to say this was only like a couple dollars. Everything I got, I think, was only a couple dollars. My whole order, when I ordered from them, I think was like 10 bucks or something, if that. So, I backed off a little bit on Timu. Believe me, there's tons of stuff in my cart, but... How stinking cute is that little bat? He's a bear bat, I think is what he is. He's dressed up as a bat. But how cute will those be if you guys do fall planners, if you do scrapbooking, if you want to make the garland. And, uh, <clears throat> or you can use it as an ornament. I may put these on, I'm doing a Halloween tree this year, so I may still put them on there. But they are so adorable. I don't want to spend too much time on each one because there is a lot, but I just want you guys to kind of see what's in there. So if you're interested, how adorable is she in that pumpkin? This one, a lot of these little pictures, I remember seeing these as a kid, you know, and I think I showed you guys. I did so much better last year with my flowers, but we got that really hot, hot spell and it just it did them in welcome to the nut house <laughs> i thought that was i thought that was perfect because you know david and i we're we're a little wacky here you know and uh i thought this will be cute out there for fall so i'm gonna throw that out there plus i love squirrels i absolutely love them I think they're so cute between them and my rabbits. But as you all know, I love all little, little creatures. My husband says, he, I think I'm Snow White. TJ Maxx. I had to grab some more of my, like, it's not the actual brand Skinny Syrup. They don't carry that anymore. Um, so this is Vanilla Nut Cream fall in love and i grabbed this this is a fun favorite the cinnamon dolce uh i love those i could not leave without them for 99 you get eight of them there is a little magnet so you got the one that says boo the one with the little disco ball and the one with the little face and the pumpkin is it my color no but they're chip clips who cares and obviously we'll use these all year i, I don't care but I just thought they were so adorable. They also had ghost face. So, if you guys saw my uh, Michigan's largest Dollar Tree, I talked about this. My friend talked me out of it. She's like, wait, 
what do you need that for, Jamie? Because I'm a big kid. So I went back and got one. This was a dollar twenty-five. And you reveal a sticker a day. Now you know I love some stickers for my fall and like planners, but I just thought this is cute. Dollar Tree has never done this sticker countdown. And yep, I'm gonna do it. But if you have grandkids or kids, they will love this. They'll love it. So I have been wanting to start my fall planner. And this is really neat. Dollar Tree has started doing the crafting paper. I know they've been doing it for a little while. But this, I feel like, just has a lot of the fall colors that I can use. You get 24 sheets for $1.25. So, it sucked me in. I wasn't going to get any of these, like, little trinket things. But, I'm like, you know what? This will go perfect on my little shelf. Not that I need another pumpkin. But, as we know, I'm the crazy pumpkin lady. So, I got this little beaded pumpkin. These? I think I shared these with you guys. Maybe I didn't. There might be more. I don't. I think I forgot to share these in my first haul. My first Halloween haul. But they are Harvest Decor. Because, you know, every time I do a haul, I forget something. They're scattered. But you... I'm going to put these... In glass jars, put candles around them, and I just thought these were perfect. The colors, and these are the colors I'm going for, you guys, this year. It is like the greens, the the um like rust orange kind of color, um, maybe a little bit of the yellow, but not like a bright yellow. I think four packs of these, you get 12 pieces in it, and this is for $1.25. All right, bag down. I was out the other day, and this little hand soap, um, pumpkin spice scented, let's see. I didn't smell it. Actually, that has a very nice smell. It has like the pumpkin spice they had an acorn as well i got the bestie um one of these and her and the little acorn because i wasn't sure which one she'd like the other one is a different color this is looking it's really like a copper but it looks a little different on here so i think that's a ray with florals but I feel like you don't have to have pumpkins everywhere, right? You can add leaves and floral and it really brings um, your house to life. Now, don't get me wrong. This girl's going to have pumpkins throughout her house. But, all right. So, I'm trying to see. There might be some duplicates. I went to two different stores on this i found this great set of leaves <clears throat> a couple weeks ago i couldn't find any but i think these might have been it they look very realistic to me the colors but see that's all the colors i'm looking for these are a dollar 25 i feel like it's a good bundle you could stick it in somewhere on your mantles and you can put it in a vase and have that. So I got two of those because, oh, wait, no, sorry, three of those. So I do think this is the one I was looking for because, believe it or not, if you look at all the leaves, there are different ones. Next are these. These are a dupe, you guys. I believe Hobby Lobby has something very similar you get a nice little bundle for a dollar twenty-five, and this is perfect. I feel like you can have this even in the summertime if you want. It says fall, but 
I feel like you can use it more than, and there's not a lot of fallout. Now that is three bushels, just so you see. That's three bushels together. So if you wanted something, that's one. I was trying to have everything right here so I could just. Then this is what the color I was talking about, like a maroon. I think that's the color. So, but it has green in it and I figure I could pop these in somewhere and that'll add a different color. It gives you texture to what you're Grab doing. Some more little greenery. You can never go wrong. It almost looks like there's little buds on them. So I, go, I have been looking everywhere for these. So I found them, right? These are $1.25. They're just little balls, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they glow, you guys. So the bestie, I had her hunting for them as well, and she found them for me. But won't this look pretty? The only bad thing, obviously, you got to go turn them on if you want them on, each individual ball. But I just thought that was really cool. And I'm going to turn it off so you guys can see. Close. And I believe they only had the two colors, but this will look great in a bowl or something on your table. If you guys have the dough bowls, uh, she grabbed me four of those and three of the cream color. And honestly, I feel like you can paint these other colors if you would like them other colors. So... I know it's not necessarily the fall, but I'm going to be using these probably for fall and Halloween of okay. Dollar Tree. I could not pass this up. I didn't need another mat, but is that not awesome? Welcome to our haunted house. Especially since we do the home haunt, you know. This is perfect. So I don't know if this will go on the front porch or probably on the deck, maybe. I'm thinking, and I can't wait to decorate um, the, the deck for fall. I'm excited. The shop with me, you saw these beautiful signs. I couldn't pass them up. These are ones that I will use throughout the years on the coffee bar. So I like changing them out. I have a pumpkin pie one, an apple pie one, and I realized I did have a apple cider one. But this is spiced apple cider. It is different than the one I had last year, so they did change it up. These were a dollar twenty-five. I feel like these are a really nice staple. You can set it up against the wall. You can hang it up. And then cinnamon sugar cookies. So, and it has the recipe. Comment below if you guys realize, like, are these the real recipes? I thought about trying to uh, do, like, this spice apple cider one. I, I might get a, give it a try. Maybe we'll do it together and I'll post it on here. But I grabbed those. Stickers. Here. Yep. The stickers. And I think I got all Halloween ones. I sure did. How stinking cute. 15 little stickers. On each. The little ghost. These are great if you do send out Halloween cards or if you, once again, you do a scrapbooking, a fall planner. These are a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to take each one out. Can you guys see? This one has little googly eyes. So Frankie has googly eyes. I think he lost his. I think the werewolf was supposed to have, if you could tell. But... How adorable are those? Those will be fun to mess around with. This, I couldn't help it. They're little cats. 
and dogs dressed up for Halloween. How stinking adorable are those? So adorable. And then this one, I just love that cauldron, the witch's hat, and that broom. And then the cat. Actually, I love most of the stickers on this one. Really adorable. All a dollar twenty-five. But I thought that was a really pretty piece. Um, it has a marble look to it. I think they did. They use that like resin stuff basically on this. That people are doing like their um, countertops and stuff with. But isn't that pretty? Dollar twenty-five for that. Okay. And I had to pick up one of these just because they never have these type of pumpkins that sit on the side like that. I should have grabbed more than one because I still like to do a tear tray. Right now, I think I have, I'm trying to look around my house. I think I have like two down here. I have one in my craft room. But anyway, ghosts. Because I only found one that day, but I, I wanted so it's a fun. great pickup from Pottery Barn. If you guys actually like to look at some of the more higher end and just get an idea, that that's helpful, you know, because they'll do a whole page and show you how they're decorating. So I grabbed these for $125, and I know Pottery Barns are like probably $10, $15, I'm sure. And then I ended up grabbing the spiders and the spider webs. Because to be honest, this is more my color for Halloween than the white with the bats. But I just, I, oh. Your girl might have broke one. Another ghost. It's a ghost uh, ribbon and more of that filler in there. But then these little acorns. I thought these will look so good to like just stick in somewhere. They look kind of realistic to me. They had several different ones. I grabbed four of them. And these were also $1.25. All right. Yes, I do have some Halloween stuff in here. I know everybody's like, my Halloween lovers are like, where is the, the Halloween? But these, are these that cool? So these were $10.99. And I, what I'm thinking, I may even use these also for fall and Halloween. Maybe on the mantle, things like that. I just thought these were really cool. These were 40% off. When I purchased them, I should have bought a third one. And now I'm saying that, like, seeing these, I really should have brought a third. Purchased. I'm doing a fall tree this year on the black Halloween tree. And I'm putting, like, little beads like this in here. And I may go back to Hobby Lobby and just grab. They have um, some little velvet... Thanks, not Thanksgiving, but fall related bulbs. And it has these colors. But these were $1.99 with 40% off. So this is how do you like were these? They're they're called they're supposed to be Spanish moss. I know it looks like a hot mess here. And they kind of are. So it's a garland and it hangs down. Now on the picture, these were nine or $18.99, but with the 40% off, they they'll hang across here. Okay. Is what we're planning on doing. Or I'm planning on doing, I should say. All these pieces hang down. They are messy. But I have an idea for my Halloween. But in the picture, it looked like it was more like Spanish moss. It was more 
like a rust color. Comment below, my crafters out there. Is there anything I could spray on here to try to make it look older? Let me know. My crafty stencil. Okay. It has. So basically, when you're making yourself a cute cup of coffee, I told you I do these things for me. These are little things that make me happy. So that's what I do. So you set that in your coffee. I'm not quite sure how to do this. And then, oh, so like you put your whipped cream on it, right? You set this down and then you pour your cinnamon or whatever on top. Let's get cozy. We got a little squirrel. Hello, pumpkin. Are these not adorable? And a little porcupine. I don't know what the porcupine has to do with, or hedgehog has to do with fall, but he is everywhere. Let me know, guys, What? why do you think they have that as like a fall thing? But this was $1.99 with 40% off. And yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I really do. Sorry. So if you like, want to see the best, yeah, wait till then. All right, back to Dollar Tree. I grabbed some more of these little pumpkins. I grabbed some of the taller ones because I have a lot of the squatty. And these are the colors right here I'm going for. And I grabbed, I think, like three green and three of those. Your girl, your girl's the best. Please stay. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to this hot mess. All right. Next are these. These I feel like are trying to be a dupe of Hobby Lobby, which I just bought. But I think these will be great. They're called Wildflowers for $1.25. I grabbed three. I told you I usually do three. That's what a bundle of three look like. Then I grabbed these. These are also, it's just called a bouquet, but they look like wildflowers. And it's showing up more yellow. But honestly, it has like an orangey color to it. And I grabbed three. So this was my first when I went crazy with the bestie at the Dollar Tree. This was, I think, the original leaves that I just went nuts over. So I think the ones I ended up finding are similar to these. But this is only one little bouquet. Can you see just sticking that in some greenery? And then I grabbed that one. Look at that. That veiny. I love that. Maybe it was this one. I don't know. Anyways, so now I got four sets and then I grabbed these little maroon ones. One from Bath and Body Works, pumpkin apple. <sighs> Smells so good. My sister, because I was house sitting, got me also one. It was from Target. I wish I had it down here. I would share it with you. She always leaves me a little care package when I watch her little kitties and oh, her little fur babies in her house. All right. We're getting to some good stuff. Halloween lovers, I hope you stay tuned. Yeah. These are good. These are really good. You could put some of that rub and buff, like that antiquing on this to make it look a little older if you want it. But do you see? Ooh, creepy, right? Yes, it does have sounds. I don't care for them. I don't care for it. So most likely, I like that it lights up, but I don't like that sound. And let's see, his his makes a different sound. So you see how creepy he is? These 
were the plus sections. So these were $5, but I'll be honest, so good for $5. Anywhere else you guys are paying 10 bucks or more for something like this. It is plastic, but they look so good. I just want you to see the detail. Right up on the mantle oh. at Home Goods, and it's that amber glass looking. It was six ninety nine, and I think at Home Goods it was a little bit more. So it just says canister, but is that not beautiful? I have the clear glass one, but I love this as well. This will look so pretty. Either on my coffee table, I could put candy. I know people, my sweet friend Mary had asked me if I did the whole candy corn and peanuts and it almost tastes like payday. Or people are doing like just that mix of all the fall Halloween candies together. And so when you grab, you got like a bunch of different, that might be fun. Um, or I might fill it with just like something else. I don't know. We'll see. So $6.99 TJ Maxx Fine. Which I cannot believe I found it. If you guys have been around a long time, you know I collect Ray Dunn. I've slowed down, way down. But why does fall and Halloween always get me? The Eek measuring cups. You guys, I don't think I've ever found Halloween measuring cups. I was so shocked. But, there is a but to this. These aren't necessarily the ones I wanted. These are very cool. But the green and black is not necessarily my Halloween colors. But I wanted to grab it just in case. If not, I'm going to return them. Um, they were $12.99. I am looking for, I don't know, I think a friend of mine that has been collecting Ray Dunn for a long time, she said it's a throwback. Um, but it has a little ghost on it, has the witch on it, like a witch's hat. Um, it has a cauldron. They're white. Or the pumpkin ones would be wonderful for me like the jack-o'-lantern ones, because that goes with how I decorate. But I had to grab them. They say, eek, boo, shriek, ah, on them, each one. So $12.99, super excited for those. This guy. He is a truly great pickup. If you buy skeletons, then you know. The fact he's posable, so like his little feet move, his little hands, where's his hands? <laughs> his hands move. He's like uh, all stapled together. He takes three triple A's, but watch this. So, all that for $5. He is, what is he? Um, 36.5 inches tall. So, that's, that's what, like two and a half feet or something around there? Something like that. Is that right? If you're growing, <laughs> give me back your outer math. Um, but, look at this opens. I don't know if I love the color. I may do something to the color. I do have some rub and buff that may make this not so like shiny. Hey, subscribe, like the video. <laughs> Your girl's lost her mind. All right, that's it from Dollar Tree Plus section. My last. And awesome finds. If you guys follow me on Instagram 
or watch my shorts, you saw these. <laughs> Are they not amazing? Clay pots. Now I know everybody was making their own, but I'll be honest with you guys. I say I'm gonna make and do things. I just don't have the time. So for 1944, I grabbed these. You can put little lights under there. I'm thinking about uh, doing some fairy lights either with timers or something like that or you could just put a flickering candle in there which would look really really cool but I had to grab both sides are these not gonna look amazing on the porch with some fall mums around it or on and I feel like you could put these out you could turn it around you could put it out for fall and then just turn it the other way. But they're going to go on my deck and they're going to go out with the fall stuff as well. So, but that is it. Hot mess going on right here. I think I showed you everything. I always miss something and then I'll, then that'll be that. <laughs> I, I miss that. That's it for this haul. If you guys liked it, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Did you purchase anything or any of these items? Would you purchase any of these items for what you're doing? Uh, I do realize this was definitely more fall than it was Halloween. But your girl has so much Halloween, it's unreal. She really, I really don't, I don't need anything, to be honest. I really didn't need anything. So I was doing really good not spending. But the ones that are here for the first time, thank you so much. The returning subscribers, thank you. I know if you guys want to stick around while I chat a little bit, I'm kind of going to tell you some updates and what's going to be going on this fall season. Stick around. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. All right. The ones that have stayed. The ones that have stayed. So, y'all know we have another channel, Haunt at the Roxbury, my husband and I. And I'll be honest, he runs a lot of that. He's been working really hard. He also has a podcast. I'm going to plug him right here. He has a podcast. So, if you want something to listen to in your car, and they talk about all kinds of stuff. Like, his first one was talking about how Halloween has exploded this year. And kind of what he thinks about this. Is it a trend? We know there's a lot of Halloween lovers out there. But it's just crazy. Every Halloween item or like event we've already gone to. Has been bigger and better and more people. So that's on his podcast. But he's been working very hard. We actually have a couple things already lined up. We're going to be going to Blake's Orchard and we'll be filming. I probably will possibly do something on my channel, um, but it will be on Haunt at the Roxbury for sure. Um, we're also doing Pumpkin Factory, which is them. Uh, we are going to Niles. If any of you are Halloween lovers and you know about Niles, Michigan there is a huge haunt it's huge so we have been invited to come out there and film as well we also may be doing terrified forest so this year we're planning on focusing on our local and what Michigan has to offer for haunts and just like fall because I know Blake's and pumpkin uh, Halloween items. So you guys will love that on this channel. Um, but also we'll be going to more haunts that are here in Michigan. Uh, and filming, hopefully. So that is coming up. You guys will be seeing, hopefully, a fall decor. I don't know if we'll start with. I usually like starting with the coffee bar. The coffee bar gets me moving. But we may start with the 
the shelves and, or the mantle this year for the fall decor. And then that way I can just keep rolling. So that'll be coming. I'll have that. Um, so I don't know if I'll split them up like, okay, these are the shelves. We're decorating the shelves. We're doing this. Your girl's going to try. I'm really going to try, but it's hard to decorate and do all those things. This is a very long video. I know it's gotten. And if any of you have stayed this long, give me a pump, a jack-o'-lantern emoji. Like, you guys are my rock stars because your girl is long-winded. I've been called Gabby. <laughs> I don't care, though. So, um, that's it. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys are getting all the fall uh, vibes. Your girl's a little, like scratchy not feeling good i think the fan did something to me but that's it give me the thumbs up you guys be kind to one another love one another and i'll see you next time